Hi, this is Janet Walker from BestieTipSimple.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple profile section, which will allow view viewers to come and read what you're blogging about, and also be able to connect with you and to find your products that you sell. So at the moment, we are viewing the back end of Blogger, and we are in the layout section. And how to get a layout is basically you would look to your left hand side where you have your list and look at menu and you scroll you go to the bottom where it's got layout and you click layout and then this is what you will see now the the white sections are basically what's available on your blog so you've got like for example your header your post your blog post um, about me and blog archives these are these are what's available on your blog now. The words add a gadget and they will allow you to choose which other gadget you want to add to your blog. On your right hand side, what we are going to focus on is a little profile section and we're going to put it on in your menu on your right hand side. Now at the moment we have about me and we have a blog archive. What we are going to create is another about me. Now in the old blogger.com, the about me was the section where you would be able to open it, add your text, save it, close it, and then that would have been it. But since blogger.com has upgraded and they connect most of their information to Google Plus, the about me doesn't work in exactly the same way it did before. So if I show you now and click edit on about me, all you'll see is the title about me, a statement asking you if you want to show it on your blog, and um, information where it asks you if you want to save this, cancel it, or remove it. I'm not going to do anything at the moment, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So now at your moment, you can see my name and you can see the Google Plus icon, and underneath you've got View My Complete Profile. In the old version of blogger.com, the link saying view my complete profile, when you click that, it would open into a new page and it would show information that you had written in about yourself and your blog. Since Blogger has upgraded, when you click this now, which I've just clicked, it takes you straight to Google Plus. But at the moment we're starting out and we don't really want to work with Google Plus right about now, so I'll go back. So we're gonna go we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna put our own in so people will be able to read the information that we want them to read straight away. So back onto our layout. So first of all, as I said, we've got about me as a gadget. So we're gonna click edit and we're going to click remove. We ask you if you if that's what you want to do. And we, we, we do, so we click it OK. And now if you look back at the screen, it is now gone. And what we're going to do, we're going to save the arrangement. Saving the arrangement basically adds it to your template. If you want to check something before you save the arrangement, it's best to click Preview. OK, so now we're going to add the information that we want to. So we're going to click Add a Gadget. And in this window, it shows lots and lots of different gadgets you can actually use to add to your blog. There's loads available. The, the one we are going to be looking for is this one here, which is, is text. And basically, it says add a text message to your blog, which is ideal what we want to use. So we just click the plus sign, and now the box is available. So... It's got title, so the title I think we'd put is about me. Obviously you can put anything you want in there, you could put about my blog or welcome to my blog. But just to keep this tutorial simple, we'll put about me. And in this section here is where you're going to put your information. So I've already written something as a, a text file to make this pretty quick. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it there. So all I've put is, this blog is about how I create wooden vases and the processes I go through. I also share other crafts I am interested in. Visit my shop here at 
mybusiness.com and underneath I've got Twitter. So that's the information that I want to share. So when someone comes to my blog now, they'll see this information and they'll get a quick idea of what my blog's about. Now, where we have links, we want to change those into clickable links. So you'll grab your URL for your business and then you have a couple of links above the content box. You've got B for bold, I for italic, T for changing the colour of your text and like a world and this one's for creating a quote. So we want to click create link. So we'll create that one. So make sure you highlight the link that you want to be made clickable and a box will open up. And then, so in this box, you want to put the URL, so that would be www.mybusiness.com. And when everything's checked and make sure that's the correct spelling, you click OK, and it becomes a link. And now if you're going to put in, say, like your Twitter, we'll do the same for that as well. So that would be www twitter.com forward slash what's my test log and we click OK for that and then now we've now we've made um, our Twitter link clickable as well and obviously you can put a lot more information about you and what you do and when you finish and you're happy with that you will click save and it will appear at the top of all your gadgets. So every time you add a new gadget, that one will always appear at the top, unless they've changed that as well. But as far as I know, it will always appear at the top. So before we save arrangement, we'll check it, we'll do a preview and we'll see what it looks like. And as you can see, to the right hand side, it's got about me, and it's got the information that you've, you've copied and pasted into the section but none of the links are clickable because it's in a preview it's just showing you what it looks like so we would have to go back into the layout click save arrangement and then the, and then what we would do would click view blog and then that will open a new page and now see when you hover over the links that you've created they are now actually clickable obviously these links are not going to work with them just for the tutorial but your links will actually, when clicked, will take you, take the user where they want to go. And that's it. So there you have it. There's a simple tutorial on how to add a profile section to your blog. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.